How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch One Piece episode 544. Last episode ended with Fisher Tiger dying from a loss of blood. It turns out that during the time he was gone, he was actually a slave to the Celestial Dragons, so he held on to the resentment which made him turn down the blood transfusion. Let's see what happened to the Sun Pirates after this. If you'd like to help support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You'll get early access to all videos that we post onto our YouTube channel, and your full-on carry actions to the One Piece series. So if you're interested in those, be sure to check it out. Now on to the anime. Ikimasho! いかほどの痛みであるか、お主らには言うまでもなかろう。だ、だそれでロスルフィ。いや。どうさけ追っかけた結果が。殺さまだ。お前がやるだ。あのさ。うん。あのさ。<笑><笑><笑> He was always like this though, right? Like yeah. he was only under control because of Tiger for sure. I'm oh, sorry, Fisher, Tiger. <laughs> I keep mixing. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, wait, they fought! Holy what the crap! Fuck? There's no way he can fight him! Holy crap! Vice Admiral. How the hell did they escape? What? They went to freaking jail? It's the narrative. It's like how he's saying it. It's misinterpreted. Holy crap, the whole story got twisted so much because they had to defend oh my God. what he was fighting for. Dad, they're still going for it. Don't kill him. They know the she knows the truth なんだ。どう分かり合うんです。She Damn, she's grinding. She is day after day. Gonejo Wow. All the people she brought. I think so. Oh, they're coming for the paper. Damn, five There's years. Less and less. All the work. Gone. 
It's cause shit keeps happening. They keep, you know? The despair just keeps spreading around. She can't fix yeah. though, but she's devastated. Oh my god. That's true. They're only there because of the light. Yeah. But they have that if they go there. They have more. They could have all of that. <笑>もっと素敵な場所があるのに行ってはいけない場所なんてあるはずないのに勇気を出して一番欲しいものを押してください疲れましょうよ。そうすれば巨人との子供たちの生きる未来が少しだけ変わるかもしれない怪我は大丈夫かひどい目に遭いましたお前がここまでやられるとはねまだ序の口神に凶暴なのは人命です<笑><笑><笑> The most violent. <laughs> just because you threatened him first. Just because he's strong. <laughs> now he's salty. <laughs> Jimmy only fought because he had to. Okay? Yeah, what? Unbelievable. Was Arlo like, was like on a <laughs> rampage and he's like, Jimmy is the threat. <laughs> わしは受けようと思うアラディンをはじめ海賊などやりたくない者たちも悪いことなくこの国で暮らすことしてるかな何より私がこの地位を受ければ少し魚人族が世界政府に力を受けてくれるだろう少し魚人族が世界政府に力
<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Wow. I can't believe Arlon did that Arlon's shit, dude. a freaking fool, man. I can't believe he didn't thank him, he didn't say anything, he got saved, and then he still has something against yeah. Jinbei. What? He knows though, he knows Jinbei is not gonna do that to him. And the thing he's, is, he's playing with him. Yeah, he's playing because he knows the cards, right? He's gonna play because he knows. Jinbei's not gonna kill him. And I totally can get it from Jinbei's perspective as well. Like he's such a he's a very compassionate person. Like he he knows and understand Arlong's pain mm -hmm. and he's trying to get Arlong to view things from his way. Yeah. Like that how he has been enlightened, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But no matter how hard he's trying, Arlong just won't budge, but it's like he's still holding on to the hope that Arlong can see it the way that yeah. Fisher Tiger would have wanted them to. Yeah. But Arlong's just too strong headed, man. That's, that's why he's calling him a fool. Like, yeah. He couldn't see it. Yeah. And it's just like the relation between them, right? Like they've been they've been together since they were so young. They like know like kind of the experiences mm -hmm. that they would have went through. So I think Jinbei is very understanding of why Arlong is like this. But at the same time he's just it's just so difficult to get him out. Like I said, mm -hmm. he's already so deep in. It's like yeah. he, there is no hope in his eyes, and Jibe is like trying to create that for him. But it's just like been years, and it's never been possible. Yeah. I don't think. Do you think there would have been a possibility for Arlon to even see it? I'm like, I cannot believe the power difference here. I, I mean, I could believe it. Jibe is a warlord. <laughs> yeah, but now, but I'm talking about like, was was were they at this level before? What do you? Was Ar was Ar like a few episodes ago? Was Arlong able to like put up a fight with him? Jinbei? I think they were, yeah. But it's he just was... it just happens that Jinbei kept fighting every day and got stronger. Yeah, I think because he would Arlong went to prison. Right? Is that yeah, why? Yeah, I think so. It's like those few years he was just kind of doing yeah, anything. Yeah, the there. power difference was insane. Yeah, and how like the whole narrative got twisted. Everything just yeah. went to shit afterwards. Yeah. They can't let the people know that their mm -hmm. hero was, was a, a slave. slave to the Celestial would enrage that, them. that would enrage them. Like yeah. it would, they would cause everyone would go on a rampage. Yeah. Like what Arlong is right now. Yeah, there would be more of him. Maybe Arlong would like lead them. Honestly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. He would have had the power to like use them during their time of anger mm -hmm. and try to recruit them into yeah. like whatever he Arlong wants. Yeah. But. But because they couldn't tell the truth, it got twisted and kind of like had that same result anyways. So. Yeah, either way it was a negative result to yeah. what Otohime wanted. Exactly, because because they because the story got twisted, now it's like the hate for the humans they still didn't help got him, you know, that kind worse. Of exactly, it's the same thing. It's negative, right? So there's they got enraged either way. So it's like they were never gonna win, no matter what they did mm -hmm. here. I think uh, Otohime's speech there was very real like mm -hmm. i saw her like fighting like how they're portraying her like mm -hmm. she's fighting every day and like mm -hmm. okay yeah she really wants them to get along with the humans yeah. but for her explaining like why don't they deserve to be up there yeah it's like different it's different you know i was yeah. like oh she wants to really get along with the humans but in a way she's actually is fighting for the fishmen because they're only in this location because of the sunlight yeah. And yeah. why are they limited to only yeah. this? Like she's fighting for their rights, but they don't even realize. Yeah, they don't realize it. Right? Yeah. I didn't even realize yeah. that she was fighting for like that specific thing yeah. until she like mentioned it. I was, I thought she just wanted to get along with them. Yeah. You know? But I was thinking like, oh, uh, like you know how like um, we have passports now, we're able to travel to countries and yeah. stuff, right? But for them, they're literally the fishermen are only in mm -hmm. Fishman Island, mm -hmm. and she wants to, mm -hmm. them to like go out mm -hmm. and be able to like mm -hmm. look and explore without any like discrimination. Yeah. I, yeah, crazy. yeah. I think this episode made it 
more clear more clear what, what she was fighting, fighting for, for right because yeah. it was crazy like we just see this whole time like oh she's such a positive person mm-hmm. like she's just seeing the good and everything but reality maybe she is having these struggles but mm-hmm. she wants fishmen to be on equal terms yeah 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 exactly it's, with the humans mm-hmm. it's not a matter of like them getting along like she made it seem like oh let's all be yeah, friends yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing exactly but yeah. the reality was that because they are not fighting for their right to be like up mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. it's like they're they're putting themselves they're discriminating against themselves yeah, right they're, because they're, they're putting now. they're putting themselves mm-hmm. in this position where they're limited to and not at the same equality yeah as yeah. the as the humans right mm-hmm. so in a way like the, they themselves are putting themselves yeah at a like a lower position because they're not fighting literally when she said that it explains her actions right like mm-hmm. this whole time I'm like oh she really wants to like get along with them but yeah. it's like for what reason yeah. right and she finally like was able to tell it you know like yeah. she's positive that- but there's a break like she probably knows all the bad thing the human does but she's still seeing like the bigger picture yeah because i think it's like yeah, like it made her character more, even more likable, I think. Because before it was like, oh, she's such a positive person. She's yeah. trying to bring people together. But mm-hmm. it, it kind of have made her like kind of like a character which is like, oh, like, let's just all be friends kind yeah, of character. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I think it made her more human because there's a desire that she wants for herself. Like from mm-hmm. by her having this relation with the humans, she benefits from, they benefit. Like yeah, that's something she benefits, wants, right? Yeah. She wants to be able to see these scenic scenes and mm-hmm, be mm-hmm. able to go wherever they yeah, want. Yeah, why don't they do yeah, that, Yeah, she right? wants that for herself. Yeah. It's like she's fighting for a right for herself mm-hmm. and the fishmen, yeah. But even the fishmen don't really know, I feel like. They, yeah, they don't, they don't realize it because they are so fixated on the idea that you have to be with getting the human, along with the humans like you have to be friends with the yeah, humans yeah, kind of yeah. thing and they don't want to do that but they don't even like they're they, so blind they don't even realize they're that. stuck here yeah that's it yeah exactly so i can tell you they can live up there yeah exactly right yeah, yeah wow cool is i also like that they kind of like broke her down to like kind of like say she's not a hundred percent like oh she's positive happy yeah, all yeah, the time yeah. right like she's hu- she's human too yeah, you know no, she has that. human emotions you uh-huh. know like she, she yeah. obviously she's gonna cry when she's having a tough yeah. time, but no, yeah, I think her desire of like wanting something for herself, I think, really humanized her because it wasn't just like oh, always thinking about for the greater good of others, but it was also just something that she wanted. She wanted as well her kids, yeah. like for pe- her kids, people. for herself, yeah. for people she care about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.